Greetings, friends. It's me, Al, from Creek Road Pottery. And, um, I had an order to do a cake platter. Never done a cake platter in my life. But, um, I watched a few videos, so we'll see how it goes, right? Um, so I need to leave it thick on the bottom, so when I trim it, it doesn't get thin and crack. And I need to throw it all in one piece. So it's kind of like a chip and dip. Now I don't like throwing one piece chip and dips because have you ever tried to store those things? Like there's no way you're going to do it. You can't stack it on anything. It's a real pain. So I always throw the bowls separate when I throw the chip and dips. But with this, the centerpiece is going to be the pedestal. And, yeah, so I, I have no idea how this is going to go, but we're going to go for it. So, let's get started. Get some water. So, I've been having a lot of bad luck today. been using reprocessed clay. And, um, I'm going to pour some water in here in my pail. There we go. So this is a pretty messy job. If you like, if you like getting in a mess, you should do pottery. All right. Let me turn this on. This is about eight pounds. Way too much for what I'm doing. But. wanted enough so that would be a good size because this clay shrinks 14 percent so, so what we're doing now is we're centering this thing out So this here is the last of my box clay. I tried to order some more, but since COVID, COVID, I say COVID. Since COVID, uh, it's been hard to hard to get clay. So I've been using reprocess. I'm gonna take this all the way down to the wheel head. pretty centered there. So I'm going to flatten this a bit more. So I want a pretty good base. So now, <laughs> you have to throw it in sections. It's on a chip and dip. Let me see here. I'm going to go... Okay. So I'm going to go... I'm gonna open it up like right here, right? So I'm gonna leave it thick. And compress this in. So people that know how to do this, you're gonna be yelling at me because you're gonna be like, no, you're doing 
doing it wrong? But, that's how you learn, man. Okay, so I didn't screw it up yet. Okay, so I want to leave this thick. So now what I want to do, compress this top and the sides. I want to pull this out. Like, I want to lay this right out. Quite a bit out here. Now I'm going to compress the inside. You can see it's a bit bumpy. Even this up some. This could be a disaster. Okay. So now I'm going to slow this down. So I want this remain up like that so we're going to do something with that later now we're going to do the inside I need to be careful because I don't want to go to the bottom of this thing okay a little bit more Now I'm going to bring this up. So I want to leave this a bit thick here. I'm going to compress the inside here. Okay, so now, I'm going to bring up these sides. Thin this out a bit.
bit thick there. Thick here. I need to bring up these sides. So when you do these, right? You should always do three. Two to crack. One to send to the customer. So you want the base fairly wide because when you eat half your cake you don't want to tip it over all right so i'm hoping that'll pass so this is fairly decent i got a pretty good layer there and um i'm gonna let let this stiffen up and then trim it out. So I'm just messing with this a bit more, compressing it. I may try to look like this. Leave that like that so you can put some nice design around the side. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't as nerve-wracking as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so there it is. Uh, hopefully it won't fall over uh, when it's done. And um, I'll show it to you in a bit when I get it trimmed out. Okay, so far I'm going to make a couple more so I can blow some up. Be well, friends, and uh, happy potting!